Okay, so I'm trying Dutch Bros for the first time, and I think I ordered something different than what I was wanting, like on accident, but it's okay, because, I mean, this looks pretty good. Look at the top, looks real pretty, but I got a Golden Eagle Freeze with oat milk, and I meant to say iced, but it has freeze on there, and so I said freeze. We're gonna try it. It's supposed to be like vanilla and caramel with like a caramel drizzle on top, so. It's pretty good. Also, this is a medium. This is the size of a large or a Trinity or a Venti, whichever the large is at Starbucks. So I may be frequenting Dutch Bros instead because our Starbucks and Dutch Bros are like right next to each other. But right now, I am headed home, a video call with our photographer. Good morning, my name is Taya. For those of you who don't know, for those of you who do know, thank you for tuning in for yet another video. So this is going to be literally just another random weekly vlog. I have been really trying to crank these out for you guys. I know my channel is still like uber, 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 uber small, but I enjoy recording these kind of videos. And I know that I enjoy watching these kind of videos. Um, so I mean, for the few people out there, <laughs> the few subscribers that I do have, the few people out there that do enjoy watching these, I will do my best to continue just like kind of recording them, showing what I do week to week. So in this vlog, I plan to get a couple things done. And some of those things include tasks or errands that I was supposed to run like a couple videos ago. But that's okay because we're gonna get them done regardless. I went and got Dutch Bros and right now it's 10 20. I'm not wearing my watch. Yeah, that's awesome. It's 10 25 a.m. and in five minutes I am going to have a video call with our photographer because if you don't know, we are getting married in 19 days. I'm gonna meet with her to go over our timeline and then I also want to finally donate. I donated the food. Roman and I went and donated all the food kitchen but I need to donate the clothes. So there's probably like two, three bags of clothes and just like stuff that I need to take to Goodwill. So I wanna do that. And then I also kinda of wanna wrap up a couple more things in the house. Oh, I also think I might make jambalaya today. I can't believe I believed everything we had but less. We hung at night, but me to think she was from your past. Silly of me to dream of a day having your kiss. Love is so okay. I just finished my meeting with the photographer and it went really well. It didn't take too long. Our photographer is actually someone that I was in grad school with and she hooked us up with the videographer because they've shot a wedding together. And so I'm really excited to meet them. Like I said, we're only like, we're less than three weeks away. Right now it's 11 a.m. on the dot. So I'm probably going to do a couple things on my laptop so I can make sure that those are out of the way and then attempt to go donate we'll see we're just gonna go with the flow who knows but first thing off of the list done okay we're on our way to david's bridal because the flower girl dresses are in. I'm gonna go pick those up because I had to get it within like 14 days or seven days or something like that. So I'm gonna go get those right now. And then while I'm out, I'm going to donate this stuff that's just kind of like been sitting off to the side. You can hear the wig heads rolling around back there. I don't even know where I got this from. They were just my house for some reason. But some great news. I emailed our flower preservation person, like honest with her, and I said, hey, we're like less than three weeks out and I'm having a hard time finding someone who will do an order of cut flowers for me um, on a Sunday because our wedding is on a Sunday. And I, I told you how the last flower shop owner went. I had asked her, could I preserve artificial flowers? Ah! And she said, yes. She said, one, it would be like, it would be cheaper to do it that way. And then also it would save me time, the hassle, because with the preserving like real flowers, one, you had to keep them in water, ship them overnight, literally the next day. And so now she's saying it's gonna be a lot easier. It'll save me some money. It'll save us some time and hassle. So that really takes a big pressure off my plate. Just got to Davis Bridal. So let's go get the flower girl dress. 
Hello, once again. I feel like Honor's having such a good day. I went in there and I picked up the dress. It's, it's a bridesmaid's dress. It's got pearls, little ribbon, some pearls at the bottom. Very cute. The maroon ribbon. Um, so the dress itself comes with a little white ribbon bow, but um, you can literally just like take it off and then put the maroon one on. And then when I was in there, they had like little, like, little testers for perfume sets. I don't wear perfume. I needed a perfume, but I only have body sprays and mists. And you know, everyone knows those don't last super long. And so I got this, it's called Infatuation. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of not focusing, but it's called Infatuation. The other one I tried was I think Devotion. I didn't like that one as much. It was a very like clean smell, but this sweeter undertone to it. So I really liked it. And it's normally $50 and I got it for 20. So right now I'm going, to have some discipline, you know, not stop at another store. Off to Goodwill, we go. Just dropped off my Goodwill stuff and uh, you know, we're doing real good today. Real, real good. We are running errands. We said we we're gonna run. And so right now I'm just gonna stop at my parents' house since I'm out and they don't live far from like where I'm at. And then probably go back to the house, eat something do some more organizing and planning so yeah okay it is 3 30 and put those sheets on the bed and so now i just kind of need to like vacuum upstairs wipe down the bathroom really quickly because we may or may not have um some cousins staying with us tomorrow just for like the night as they're passing through and yeah and then i plan to cook dinner tonight i am going to make jambalaya and I've only ever made it once, so hopefully it goes good. I did get some really good wedding stuff done. I figured out my bouquet. I went ahead and ordered one already because I wanted to have that done. We figured out our table numbers. I also had to renew my driver's license. So I paid to get that done. I was able to do it online. I didn't have to physically go in for it, but I did that. But we're, we're gradually getting things done. So here we go for a little cleaning. I got a little carried away cleaning the bathroom upstairs. I went through like two different trash bags and got rid of a lot of stuff that was left up there. 
Even though I spent like 45 minutes cleaning the bathroom, I still didn't even <laughs> finish the guest bathroom. So I'm definitely gonna finish the rest of that tomorrow, but I am glad that I got the big stuff out of the way, like the sink and vanity area, the toilet and the shower. So tomorrow I'm just gonna have wipe down the wipe down the drawers and the cabinets because I already cleared them out and then just uh, sweep them off the floors. I actually do have some cousins coming to stay with us just for the night tomorrow. They're not coming until the evening time, so I will have time to finish getting that ready if I don't decide to do it tonight. And then right now I'm about to cook dinner. I plan to make jambalaya. Good morning, good morning. It is 9.30 a.m. Right now I am on my way to get a matcha because I did start my cycle this morning and my cramps, my cramps were so bad, always cramp, but I would say the last two, three days like leading up to it have just been very awful. I don't know, really bad. And I try not to take anything for the pain because I know a lot of painkillers are blood thinners. So I try to just like push through it. Coffee does not help with my cramps. So I'm gonna get a matcha from a little like mom and pop shop that I really like to go to. Ah. If only y'all could see how, how, how good I just handled that pair of little pop. I'm back. Here she is. Let's give it a taste. That's good. That is really good. Okay, back home we go. So I'm gonna open it. Oh good, okay. Okay, so quick update. I do like this thing, but the only thing is, be quiet. <laughs> the only thing is this piece so far into the bowl that I had to rearrange it and then kind of take out some of the strawberries that I had in there. The only thing, you basically are just gonna have to do it stages. You may not be able to do a bunch one time just because it may not fit. I do like it though. All you do is just push this button to get it to spin. And then you can push this black one for it to stop. I would buy again. Good morning. It's the next day, but I think I'm in the mood to do an at-home workout. I haven't worked out in a fat minute, a gym and a routine. And I followed that routine very consistently when I still lived out there for grad school. But then I moved back here and I just haven't really gotten back in one a routine of going and I also haven't found a gym that I go to just yet. I've done like day passes at a couple, but they're just, oh, they're just not the same as my one and only, you know, gym back there. I gain or lost any weight and my physique's not terrible. I've obviously lost like quite a bit of muscle, not as, uh, 
toned. But one thing I will say, I have very much noticed it in my endurance. We were like moving a couch up the stairs the other day and physically I can lift things that are like fairly heavy, but my endurance has like, oh, it, had just, it has just plummeted. I was so out of breath. That is not okay. I need to, <laughs> I need to do something about that. I don't know, maybe I'll start like taking walks or something. And also I feel like when I work out, it helps me start my day a lot earlier because right now it's literally 11.50 and I've been up since like 8.30 and I've just been laying in bed, scrolling my phone, which is not productive. And I couldn't have been done with stuff hours ago. So I'm just gonna try to get myself back into routine because I think I'm just starting to get a little like too content, a little, a little too lackadaisical. Here we go. Who knows how it's gonna look. As we all know, we're like two weeks out from the wedding. We're 16 days away. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the stress that comes with being two weeks out from the wedding. I was feeling it a couple weeks ago. I think it really set in like this past weekend. It really hit me. I was originally gonna like get in a good little, a quick little workout this morning, but I'm not feeling that anymore. So, <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna do it. But I think it's because my mind is so focused on all the little things that we need to get done. I do need to eat something, so I think I'm just gonna make breakfast. Here we go. Just come along to see what two weeks out looks like. Here we are back in my car. <clears throat> I feel like I spend so much time with you guys in my car because we're just always on the go. But right now I'm about to pick up our prints from Staples. And I'm not gonna lie, we're in a pretty dangerous area right now because we're right next to Target and have Fry's books. <laughs> I got the staples order and it actually turned out really cute so these are little cards it, at the top it says advice advice and wishes because so each table is kind of represent the year so for year one it says always and then um they all say best advice for lasting marriage and so our guests will fill this in and then with love they can put who it's from i actually created these myself on canva and then just saved it and put it into google docs and then put it to on a page so it'd be cheaper once it's filled out they'll just put it in the 
envelope on the table and like I said, so everyone sitting at table one will fill one out and it'll be for year one. So on our one year anniversary, we will open those cards together. Way to look back and remember what our guests wrote. Another long-term thing that we get to do. We decided to do it this way just because I know that you can like purchase cards already, but the ones that I was seeing online has like five or six prompts, right? So it's like always remember to, you know, do this or do that, but if we're opening them every year on our anniversary, we're just gonna be opening the same exact prompt. And so I wanted something different. So it's like always for year two, the first prompt is never for year three. Sometimes it's best to, for year four, remember that and so on. And then there are ones and it's like when starting a family, when raising a family, um, date night ideas, just like different things, right? And then they, like I said, they all have best advice for a lasting marriage so that one will be the same but the actual initial prompt will be different so i think that'll be something fun that we get to do in the years to come but right now oh we're at target and i'm just gonna walk around I'm just gonna walk because we're over here so why not right i love target who doesn't love target leaving empty-handed we're back at home i am going to show y'all a couple things that have come in while i was gone we got a couple more things off of our registry so i'm going to show y'all what they are it's a little bit heavy this one is not from the registry i think this is something that we ordered but i'm gonna use my handy dandy knife from the registry <laughs> here's the first box I'm pretty sure these are our table numbers. So it comes in a cute little thing like this. I just cut it open and then there's a card on the inside that says, thank you. Okay. So these are the table numbers. They're not this brown color. I think they have like uh, things in between them but they are just simple acrylic table numbers. Okay, so it's just frosted. It just fits perfectly in here and that is the table number. So I'm gonna go through and take all those little back covers off. And the next thing, so we have two ring bearers and two flower girls. So we decided to do it that way because I have two little brothers that I'm very close with. They are 10 and 12. They were a little bit nervous about walking down the aisle. One of them was, he came up with the idea of holding the sign that says they didn't trust me with the rings. So that's what this is. They didn't trust me with the rings. Um, it's just a white sign on some wood. It's like $9, super cheap, came in super quickly. We were gonna do a gray one, but then the gray one wasn't gonna get here in time. So it was white. And here is another thing that we got off of the registry and i'll go ahead and open it because they come with non they're like non-slip on the bottom so if you have them oh yeah that's not moving so if you're mixing it or something you know it's not just gonna slip off because it has this little rubber bottom part and it also comes with tops so like i guess we could also store stuff in here if we wanted to measurements on the inside, I don't know if you could see that. Right now, I'm going to start assembling, <clears throat> or cutting these so I can already have them like cut in half and uh, set aside with envelopes for each year. Take all the backs off of these and then start assembling some of our centerpieces. That way, when our coordinator and our family is setting up on the day of, they literally just have to go in, fill it with water, and put it on the table. Even at 9 o'clock, 
I just cut all the little pieces in half. They look cute. They don't fit in here. They're too wide and they're too long. So that's what I'm gonna do now is go through and trim them. Luckily there's not too many of them, but I was hoping this would be a one and done kind of thing, you know? Everybody wanna be rich. Everybody wanna be this. They fuss who out hate me, hate me. Be my problem. I'm not all of that talking. I'm calling it out. Public opinions from private accounts. You're not a check. Then you gotta bounce. I got the drip. Come get it now. They do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. This is mad. This is trash. This is the grouch. See me win. Ain't gotta hurt. Ouch. So when they see me, what they gonna do? Not on the couch. Back. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. Do anything for clout. near his job and bring him some coffee later today we've got some errands to run total wine to get some seltzers and cocktails for the wedding because at our venue we can bring our own alcohol more wedding stuff probably and then maybe just hanging out chilling I don't know we'll see where the day takes us but right now we're starting it off with some Dutch bros let me know down below if you like Dutch Bros coffee better or Starbucks. And also, based on your answer, tell me what you like to get from each place. So I could try some new things. All right, drinks are secured. This one's mine. Looks real pretty. And this is what I was trying to get the last time. And I just ordered it wrong. And then this is Roman's. He got a medium, or he got a caramelizer blended. And I got an ice golden eagle with oat milk. I'm excited. I like, like I said, I'm car coffee is starting to grow on me, but I also, I like to see Roman. That's really good. I like that a lot. I like it better iced than blended or as a freeze. <laughs> I was at Michael's and I came over here and this isn't even the Michael's close to me but I came all the way to this one which is like by the mall because my friend was telling me that the Michael's by the mall is closing and so everything is at a discounted price because they're supposed to be closing down in mid-July. The mirrors that we have and she's gonna put some words on it and that can be like what guests take pictures on at our reception. I'm gonna see what kind of flowers they have. 
So, into Michael's, we go. Uh -huh. Y'all, I'm leaving Michael's right now and I got a lot of good stuff, but you know, because I'm in the area, I'm just gonna treat myself to a little walk through in Barnes and Noble. And I mean it this time when I say, we're just window shopping. We're not gonna buy or splurge today. We're just going to browse around, you know, walk around with our coffee, enjoy being in a bookstore because who doesn't love a bookstore? And really, if we think about it, me going to Barnes and Noble right now, if I buy something, it's not really my fault. It is my friend's fault because she's the one who told me about the Michael sale all the way over here by the mall and Barnes Noble is in the mall so we'll just blame her if there's any deductions in my bank account today that say Barnes and Noble Baby, I'll talk you crazy I need you right in my space but I need it baby I'm late but I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends but I wouldn't want to leave Once again, I feel like I didn't just get a book that I'd read once. I got a workbook, kind of. So it's I Like Myself, um, Fostering Positive Racial Identity in Young Black Children by Toni Sturdivant. Author was actually in there, and so I talked to her a little bit. She was saying, here she is, super, super nice lady. She got her PhD in interdisciplinary studies, and I think this could be like a really helpful book to utilize with clients like here she even signed it for me so again super super sweet lady for one the need for this work chapter two all about afro hair celebrating tightly textured hair be comfortable in my skin showcasing the beauty of dark skin chapter four talking black supporting multilingual children chapter five feeling good feeling great social emotional considerations for black children chapter six representation matter entering black characters in children's literature seven all black lives considering the multiple identities of black children and chapter eight the power of racially affirming practice a personal story and then at the bottom it has recommended children's books references and an index so i'm actually really excited about this i think this would be something that i use long term i mean annotate it highlight put little tabs in it and use it with clients and then one day when i have my own children use it with them i had some good self-discipline didn't buy a book oh and she was also giving out free bookmarks back home I wanted to show what I'm going to open a package that just came in from Amazon. I literally only went in there to get fake florals for the mirror. So here are some. I am not going to use this random big ball in the middle. I got this because this whole thing was... It's supposed to be blush gerb. I don't know. Two of them. Once again, we're not going to use this. But we will use these flowers to kind of fill the space around the mirror. I got two of these. Wait, just kidding. Honestly, y'all, I have no idea. These, small. These were supposed to be nine, six ninety nine. And then there's this. I wonder if I got charged extra for one thing. I don't know. And then there's this, and this is supposed to be five ninety nine. I have no idea if I actually just told y'all the correct prices. 
because I'm not gonna lie. It looks kind of confusing on this receipt. I got what I needed and I saved $20.97. So we'll take it. We do quite a bit of traveling. I had put these on our registry. That, that might seem random, but these are the ones that have the wheels that go all the way around. I have one like this, but I've had it for literally so many years that the wheel, like this one is moving around so easy right now. And the one that I have, mm -mm, no, I might as well roll it as if it only has two wheels instead of four. So. Can you go, baby? don't mind my laptop it's she's she's quite loud i'm gonna show you guys real quick what i attempted to do in terms of like our seating chart and stuff. so here is a quick example the only thing that sucks for this is I wasn't able to move these the way that I wanted to. And I'm just on Canva, I'm kind of playing around. So I could only move this side a little bit, but I would just ask them that they have it to match. So now there's nine on each side, which fits perfectly. But this is kind of what we're looking like. I know it looks a little clustered up here. Again, I'm only able to move so much. So that will change once they actually have it laid out. I can't bet you I know that I 